What's up guys? Uh, hook of vaping with Steve here. Um, basically, I got a review for you. This is uh, not a full detail review. It's just a first look until I learn it, um, this device. Um, yeah, it's basically the rail box. This is a clone version, yes. So it works like a DNA 40, but yet it's not the real DNA 40. To my standard, to my point. You know what I mean? Alright. Now you notice there's a different settings in the background. I'm basically just downstairs because hell it's hot in my room right now, so I thought I'd just change it up just just for right now. And uh yeah. Why don't we just go ahead and take a look at this, okay? Alright, here we are with the rail box, magazines and remote controls. Sorry guys, I just had to take a drink there for a second. Alright, so, uh, I purchased this from um, Vapor Solution down at State College on the street. I think it's in located in the city of Fullerton. Um, so, yeah, that's where I got it. I purchased this from them. Uh, this is the clone version. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Um, authentic is just way too expensive. 300 Average around 300 bucks for this, nah, I wouldn't want to buy it for that much. Um, anyways, uh, here's the, the box, here's the detail. Rail box, the logo. Nothing. Uh, choice of colors, a black, gray, silver, and golden. They marked it silver. Nothing there, nothing there. Now, when I got this box mod, this was basically the last one. This was basically the demo uh, that they're using. So I got this for a pretty good price. I'm not going to say what price it is. So that's for you to find out. This is basically a demo mode. I mean, this is just basically they were showing this for demo. So I decided to hop on it and get it. Anyways, I got this because it's unique, um, like any other box mod, they're, you know, pretty much serves the same purpose, atomizer on top of the box, you know, just like uh, this one. This is my IPv3, still works like a champ, and it sits on top of this, but this, yes folks, this is different. So let's go ahead with the unboxing and they didn't give me the manual too as well so <laughs> I'm fresh out of luck on that one. Well anyways, this is the real box. Um, it's a DNA 40 box mod. Nice uh, curved texture to it. Kind of looks like a, when you're looking the top portion of a car, like this will be the the hood, this will be the roof, this will be the back of the car. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's kind of like, sort of like that, or it makes a better grip, you know. You can hit it from here. Anyways, set that aside. Here's the box. Pretty much it's a uh, foam. And you'll get an instruction, and you'll just get a... Uh, Pyrex uh, drip tip 510, a uh, 510 Pyrex drip tip. Um, this one sits basically right here, but I wouldn't want to put it on here because it's too rough to get it out. I mean, it's too hard to get it off um, because the silicone, the the, the O-rings are just way, way too thick, as you can see. So. But it's a nice uh, a glass uh, drip tip. Anyways, let's put this one aside. 
closes. All right. Now you notice there is no 510 on it. Now I'm going to use a different 510 uh, drip tip. And that's all it is. You don't see no atomizer, no nothing. But what makes this unique is the atomizers in there. Yes, that's why they call it the rail. Because of these two rails, it slides up and down. See? And then it just slides, this portion just slides right on top of your drip tip. So any atomizer you have that which is standard 510 drip tip will fit. A single 18650 battery, a ball bearing which uh, will allow it to keep your back panel up. Uh, carbon fiber. I don't know what this is uh, made out of. Um, screen right there uh, I do believe this is a, a plus and minus and fire button let's see I am going to go hit up I think that's up yeah that's up and this one is down so pretty much um, air vent one air vent. Let's go back here and take a look. You pull this down and you pull the pivot out and it allows you to take out your atomizer. Now any atomizer will fit. I do believe it's just a regular standard uh, atomizer. I think 22's. Um, you're going to try to put a 26650 I doubt it's gonna work. <laughs> so here's the rails. You can, as you can see, the pivot, and then the atomizer that sits just right below there. As you can see, that's the atomizer right in there where that ring is. So pretty much it just goes up and down. That's the rail. That's the purpose of this name. So we raise the pivot. You can put in a 510, I mean not 510, you can put in a dripper. It's compatible with any dripper. We'll just take this dripper I have. And then it may be a little bit hard, so what I do is I pretty much hold it like this. And thread it it's a matter of just trying to catch it in there all right thread it and there you go see it fits perfect and then you just push it up oh that's cool it still fits and then let's see how it works up and down and then this is also has temperature control it goes from I do believe 3 to 600 I could be wrong on that that's why I'm saying I'm not too sure yet so here we go there's the fire button and we're not getting any action There you go. This is uh oh it goes to one to um point one no one point zero to forty watts. So that's and then forty watts. There you go.
apparently, I guess my resistance not working with it. So, pull it down again. Right there. And push up. There we go. Well, it seems to work on a one point. Now it dropped down to 7.4 ohms. So that is just the first look. Once I have learned how to use this, uh, learn the screen, everything, I'll go into full details, full review. This is just a run up looking at it. And uh, yeah. Let me take you back to FaceTime and then I'll show you how it hits. There you go guys, that is the first a look of the rail box. And the phone is ringing. Let me go ahead and uh, drop down the wattage. Let me put 15 watts. Pretty much speeds up too, it's really fast. This is my first DNA. As you can tell, it's not a big plume cloud because it's only 15 watts. I like how it feels, feels comfortable. The way it feels to be uh, comfort around your hand. You can press, you can hear it. See, no uh, atomizer sticking out of here. So, uh, I got Ice Cream Man, and it's a mint chocolate chip, or choco chip. All right, I'm gonna take one more drag and then I'll let you guys go. Oh, flipper. Wrong button. I didn't realize I freaking hit the up button or the down button thinking that it was a power button. That's why I'm not getting any vapor. I gotta think that the fire button is in the middle on this one. So. This is hookah vaping with Steve, and I'm out. See ya.